everyone, Morgan with Event Answer here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY balloon pillar stand. Super easy and really fast to put together, and then I'm going to show you how to make this two-toned, quick spiral balloon pillar with a topping balloon. So let's get right into the project, and I'll show you how I did this. The base of my stand is made from 3 quarter inch plywood that I cut down to a 12 by 12 inch square. If you can't cut plywood yourself, check with your local hardware store as sometimes they will cut it to size for you. Now I decided to paint mine using spray paint. Um, you could also use some latex paint or something like that. I thought this added a nice touch. You could absolutely leave it as raw wood, but I do know that the corners of my stand will poke out from underneath my balloons, and I just wanted a really nice clean look for the base. After the paint dried, I went ahead and brought it inside, and I'm going to find the center point of the stand and mark that with a pencil. I'm going to use long strokes because not only am I needing to find the center, but this is how I will align the holes of the PVC flange, which you'll see here. And I'm just going to mark the circles where the screws will go, and I'm going to pre-drill those holes, and then I'm going to realign my flange onto all of those marks and set in my screws. Now I'm using a wood screw here with a really wide washer and this is what will hold the flange down to the board. So I'm just going to put the screw into the pilot hole that I drilled and start all of the screws and just put them in gently and then once all of them are on and the flange is square I then went back and tightened down all the screws. The one inch flange which is attached to the base provides a really snug fit to the one inch PVC pipe which will make up the majority of this stand. Mine is five feet tall, but you can absolutely make yours to whatever specifications you need. To make a five foot pillar, I'm gonna be using 20 white and 20 pink 12 inch balloons, and I'm gonna be using an electric inflator to help save my lungs, and I'll also be using a sizing box that I made for this project, which has a nine inch by nine inch square hole cut into it, and this will help me get consistent balloon sizes. The best way to achieve a nice looking balloon pillar is consistent balloon sizes. So I'm going to take my balloon, put it on my inflator, and inflate it to the 12 inch size. And you'll know that it's full when it has a nice teardrop shape. And I'm going to put it on my sizer, gently push down, and release air until it just slips through that hole. Um, if I let out too much air, I'll add a little bit more in until it just fits inside that square. And then I just repeated this step with all 40 balloons, making sure I fully inflated them and sized them correctly. Um, I did end up just throwing all of mine on the floor behind me, but if you do this, make sure you sweep really well because the static electricity makes everything stick to these balloons. I then tied all the balloons into pairs of the same color. I'm just taking the ends here and I'm gonna wrap it around once and then wrap it around twice and then just finish that off with a simple knot and that will keep them together in pairs. If you're super skilled, you can actually inflate both balloons at the same time and then tie them this way and that will hold the air in. If you can do that, you're a balloon making superstar. I have a pink pair and a white pair and I'm gonna bring them together and make a quad. And this is gonna be one layer of the balloon pillar. So take your pink one and your white one and twist them together and when they're pushed flat, they'll make a square, which will layer up here. But without that pressure, they kind of make a pyramid shape while they're just floating free. Don't worry about that. We'll flatten them as we build the pillar. The final balloon I inflated was my huge 36 inch white topper. Um, now this is what I decided to put on top of my pillar. You can leave the topper blank, um, so it's just square on top. You could do a big round one like this, or you can even get a shaped mylar balloon, um, so like unicorns or a number for a birthday party or something like that. And those are all really great ways to finish off the pillar. To assemble the pillar, I brought over the stand and I'm using some lightweight fishing line here, and that's how we're gonna keep all of the balloons attached to the stand and to each other. And I've got the end of the fishing line here, and I'm just gonna make some figure eights around the first quad, going in and out of the balloons to make it sure that I've got a nice strong hold. You're not gonna need to tie any knots in the fishing line, just wrapping it around multiple times will hold it in place. So now I'm gonna take my first quad and lay it down flat on the stand, making sure that my balloons are alternating in color, and then I've got my fishing line free and I know where it is. I'm gonna take my next quad and making sure that the colors are alternating once again, and I'm gonna push the quad around the pole of the stand. So make sure that pole is slipping between two balloons and it's right against the center tie 
of those balloons and the balloons on top should nestle between the layers below. Be sure to press downwards on that top quad and this is going to keep it nice and snug and it'll hold that in place as you wrap your fishing line in a figure eight pattern between your current quad and the one below it. This will secure it in place. And then now we're gonna grab the next one and making sure that the colors are alternating once again. And this is where the pattern is going to become evident. You wanna make sure that you're spiraling your colors up in the same direction. So I'm rotating mine counterclockwise every time I add a layer. From here, it's a matter of repeating these steps until you achieve the height that you're looking for. My stand is five feet tall, and I actually used a really cool website, which I'll link below for you, that helped me figure out how many balloons I would need to build these pillars. The calculation it gave me said that for nine inch balloons in this quad system, I would need eight balloons for every one foot that I wanted to go up, which was tremendous in helping me figure out I needed 40 balloons for this. I built this pillar knowing that it would be inside for a party, but if you wanna take your pillars outside, Make sure that you underinflate your balloons a little bit if it's going to be hot outside because the air inside your balloon will expand and you don't want to run the risk of your balloons popping as you take it outside. The final step is going to be adding the topper balloon and I'm going to attach it using a 2 by 60 inch balloon, what you would usually make balloon animals from. And I'm just going to tie it in this very center to the bottom of the big balloon and stretch that tiny balloon tight and figure eight it between all of the balloons and that will hold the topper in place. Balloons are a wonderful addition to any party setup. It's inexpensive and an easy way to decorate if you've got just a little bit of time before your party starts. If you found this video helpful today, give it a like. That helps my channel out a whole lot and I really appreciate you turning in to see all these party DIYs. If there's other balloon projects that you would like to see, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Is balloon arches something you'd be interested in or particular shapes or themes that you'd like to see? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the future. Bye. Okay.